Hey, it's Steve with Raybuck Auto Body Parts, and I'm going to do another comparison between two different rust removal products. Um, you guys are probably familiar with the rust release. I've showed that in a couple different videos. Uh, we've had some feedback on those videos. People want us to compare it to other products on the market, which is what we're going to do. One of them being this Dr. X. So you can see it comes in this uh, container. This is a quart. It comes in gallons as well. This is a gallon of the rust release that we sell. Um, I have not used this before, so this is going to be a first. We're going to try it out and see what happens. So I was reading the directions on this. I wasn't sure if it was a concentrate or not. It doesn't say that it is, so I'm going to use it straight up. Um, and we're going to use it on these two panels that are here. So these are very uh, heavily surface rusted panels. I'll get them a little bit closer you can see. Pretty evenly rusted. Um, these were sitting out somewhere and got pretty rusted. They're lower front quarters, I think, off of a minivan, some minivan. So we're going to put those in. So, uh, looking at the directions on Dr. X, again, since I've never used it, I read it, wanted to see what it said. Um, it does say that it is environmentally friendly, but it talks about not getting uh, contact on you anywhere. It wants you to wear latex gloves. Uh, it talks about flushing with cold water for 15 minutes as well. So that'll be interesting. Um, it seems almost by that, it makes me think that it might be um, acid-based, but I don't know. Um, again, rust release, you don't need to do that. You guys have seen me, I put my hands in it, dipped it in there, I've never had any issues with it. Um, also, on the Dr. X instructions, it says uh, you can spray or soak it in, uh, in Dr. X. We're obviously going to soak this, I'll show you what that looks like in a few minutes here. Um, it wants you to let, it to sit, let your part sit in and your item sit in for 5 to 10 minutes, and then remove it, and using water, um, it wants you to either use a pressure washer or a hose. Um, and repeat, repeat that process um, as long as you need to. So it wants you to soak the part, take it out, spray it with something that's a lot of pressure coming out, pressure washer or hose, dry it off. It actually says uh, use a leaf blower to dry the metal um, and obviously avoid using a compressor because there could be oil on the line. But um, that's pretty intense. So uh, again, you guys have seen rust release. We soak it, take it out. You can just let it air dry or you can rinse it if you want and then wipe it off. Um, this doctor actually is saying soak it, take it out, hit it with a leaf blower, seems a little crazy. Um, squirt it off first, I guess, with water and then dry it off. Um, and then if it doesn't take the rust off, repeat that process, which all these say the same thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get two containers. I'm going to put this in here. We're going to clamp it in place or I'm going to clamp it so you can see it. And we're going to do a time lapse because this says it works in five to ten minutes and we know rust release works in like uh, ten minutes or so. Um, so I'm going to get that set up. We're going to bring the camera in and uh, do time lapse and we'll see in 10 minutes what happens. Okay, I have my panels in two different containers. I'm going to pour the uh, liquid into it so you can see I have my rust release. I'm just dumping it straight in. I'm going to fill it up uh, probably about three quarters of the way, maybe a little over three quarters or a little over half. And I'm going to put my Dr. X in the other one. Definitely a different color. The Dr. X, I can see why they chose green because it is green. Uh, the rust release has like a yellowish tint to it. Um, I didn't realize the Dr. X was so green. So I don't know how much this uh, time lapse is really going to show, but we'll let it run and in 10 minutes we'll check it and see what happens. Okay, it's been 10 minutes, so I'm going to take these out. Um, I can see just looking at the liquids that uh, a lot of the rust is definitely gone. One thing I did forget to mention about the Dr. X uh, that it says on the instructions is not to use it on aluminum or chrome. Um, the rust release does not have restrictions like that, so that's just one other thing to note. Depending on um, the surface that you're trying to clean off, um, you have to be careful with that. It doesn't say anything about uh, rubber, like rubber coated handles or you know, anything like that. I did look on their website. They said that it is uh, safe on paint. Um, so take that for what it's worth. Uh, so here it is, 10 minutes. I'm going to take it out and we're going to see what these things look like. Okay, the first one is going to be the rust release. Let's get this magnet off the back of here. And there it is. You can see the clear line where the rust is and the rust was. 
Um, you can see some of the very heavily rusted areas in the uh, corners uh, still have a little bit of rust, but actually, if I wipe it, it takes most of that off. Actually, it took just about all of it off. Um, it's smeared in there. You can see that there's rust on the edge of this, uh, this rag, but there it is. So that's what it looks like after 10 minutes. Now, let's look at Dr. X and see what it looks like. Okay. And actually, that looks really nice. It did do a very nice job. So it cleaned off. Let's wipe it. Let's wipe it again. It looks really clean. So that seems like it took everything off. So here's the back part of the panel. The back part of the panel wasn't really rusted. Um, doesn't seem to have affected anything that's on there. Uh, you could see, you could sort of see the line right here where it was sitting in the solution. And then obviously you could see the line right here. Um, I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes without rinsing it because I'm curious what it will do. Uh, if you don't rinse it off, like I said, with rust release, you don't have to rinse it. Um, but so far, so good. That looks, uh, that looks pretty good. And again, we'll look at this one. If I give it a little bit of a wipe, you can definitely see the line. Wipe the back side of it off. You can see the line right here. Anything below it was in the solution. And it took most of that off. And there's that. So uh, pretty darn good. I'm surprised. I didn't think the, uh, uh, the Dr. X would do such a good job, but it definitely did. Uh, again, I don't know what the issues are with that, with um, getting it on your skin or on other surfaces, uh, but it looks like if you just have some straight up um, metal that you want to use or you want to get the rust off of, this does a, uh, actually did a really nice job. Uh, one thing with the Dr. X, it is a fairly pricey product, but hey, that thing does seem to work. So uh, there's a difference between the two. Like I said, we're going to let this sit for a couple minutes. We're going to come back and uh, see if it does anything to the surface without rinsing it. And uh, I'll give you an update on that. Okay, so I let both panels set for a few hours. I came back, checked on them, and you can see the difference here. Um, this first panel is the one that was dipped in the rust release, and this other one was the one that was dipped in the Dr. X. Now, Dr. X did say uh, to rinse thoroughly and dry with a leaf blower. Um, obviously, just rinse and dry very thoroughly. Um, and I didn't do that, so I did not follow their uh, directions. I was just curious what would happen if you didn't do that. Rust release, you don't have to do anything to it. You can, but you don't have to. So you can see the difference. Uh, rust release looks like this. And um, again, I mentioned earlier, it looked like that almost all the rust was gone. Actually it is, because what's left on here is just the uh, black marks where it had converted the rust. So that has been converted. So it actually did do a very good job. And this is what the Dr. X one looks like. You could actually see that it did um, start to uh, flash rust again um, from sitting. And look, if you can see this side, it is actually rusted where before it wasn't rusted at all on this side. It might have had a couple little uh, spots like it does on the top, but nothing on the bottom. Again, I didn't rinse it, I didn't dry it, so I did go against the manufacturer's recommendation. So I was just curious what it is there uh, or how it was gonna work. Um, I really do think that Dr. X is um, an acid-based product uh, because of the way that it took everything off of the surface. There was no pitting, there was nothing left. Um, my fingertips actually felt a little tingly where um, when I used either the rust release or evapo rust or metal rescue uh, and had my hands in it for a long period of time, nothing ever felt like anything uh, with Dr. X it does. And interestingly, look at the two spots here. This is where the bottle of Dr. X uh, was sitting on my little welding bench here and it actually ate away the surface, this like uh, galvanized or the gold surface that's on it. Um, and there was just a couple little drips that were on that bottle. So again, it makes me think that this might be an acid-based solution, um, even though it doesn't say that. So um, still a good product for what you need to use it for, but if I was doing something um, that I was going to be painting after or, um, that I was concerned about other items on it, you know, if it was rubber, paint, chrome, something like that, other materials, um, I would definitely use the rust release. If it was just a straight up piece of metal that, um, 
maybe I didn't care quite so much about or it was heavily rusted and I just wanted to take the whole thing down. Um, the Dr. X one obviously did that, you saw that. But again, if you're doing it, definitely make sure you do a good job washing and drying it after the fact or you're gonna end up with uh, something that looks like this. Now, after you use any of these products, I would recommend putting something like Zero Rust on it. You've probably heard of Pore 15 Zero Rust as a competing product. Um, it's less expensive and actually does, a, I think, a better job. Um, it will help seal in any remaining rust or just seal the surface so that rust will uh, be sealed away from any of the oxygen and it won't spread any further. So putting something like this on over top of it will seal everything up and then you could either leave it like that or you could top coat it. So if it's a chassis, you could just leave it that. You could leave it in black or gray or whatever color you choose. Or if it's something on the exterior of the vehicle and you want to, to top coat it, you can do that as well. Zero Rust is uh, tested up to 1800 continuous hours of salt spray. So it is a really, really fabulous product that a lot of people haven't heard of. So if you haven't tried it, I'd pick up some of this. You can get it in an aerosol, a quart, or a gallon. If you get it in the quart or the gallon, you can brush it on or you can spray it. Um, if you're spraying it, just mix it with, or thin it with a little bit of xylene and uh, you're good to go there. Uh, really, really good product. Can't say enough good things about it. So hopefully this, this, uh, this helped you guys. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos comparing other uh, rust release or uh, rust removal liquids. So please subscribe to the channel. We appreciate it. And thanks for watching.